Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to hop on and give you a quick tour of this Coach Jess crossbody and also show you how I've packed it and what fits in it um, in case you're wondering. Uh, but before I get started, I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So this is the Coach Jess crossbody in the star quilted pattern. Um, I purchased it on October 27th for $130.24. I had a bit of a coupon, um, but it is still one of the most expensive bags in my collection. I do think it's very beautiful, um, so I do think, to me at least, it was worth the money. Um, one of my concerns before buying this bag was that it would be too small to fit kind of my essentials, and that's why I, I kind of waited a long time to pull the trigger even after I saw it. Um, but it is actually, you know, if you compare it to my hand, a fairly big bag, um, and it does fit, you know, both my essentials as well as some extras that I do like to carry around in slightly larger bags. So the front of the bag is obviously the most kind of beautiful. It is a star quilting. You can see it's a nice puffy quilting, and then you just have the Coach logo there in a raised metal in the gunmetal uh, metal color. Um, the sides of the bag, you can start to see the number of compartments. So you have a front compartment, a back compartment, and then you have a slip pocket back there. Um, and then you have the strap. The shoulder strap is a kind of guitar strap style. So if you've seen my unboxing, you've kind of already seen this. It is a thicker strap, which is nice because it is a little bit more comfortable, but it is a little bit harder to kind of get on and off. It does tend to get caught on, you know, my hair or my jacket uh, if I'm wearing one. So um, there's pros and cons, but I do ultimately kind of like the guitar strap for comfort. Um, you can see the zipper pulls are also in that gunmetal hardware and they say coach on them and they're that kind of cool uh, zipper pull. They have like a little bit of flexibility and then the um, shoulder strap is held on by this dog leash clip and um, this has coach right there on the little button. Coach is imprinted down there and then the top or like the belt loop kind of thing that helps adjust the shoulder strap also says coach right there on the side. The sides of the strap, as well as some of the sides of the bag, have some black glazing on them. Uh, the glazing looks great to me. It's not um, it's not perfectly smooth, and I think this is kind of always the case um, on coach bags. Uh, you can kind of see like right there, there's a couple little divots. Right there, there's a little bit of a uh, texture. Uh, it doesn't bother me so much, um, just because you know I imagine it's pretty hard to get glazing to be perfectly straight. I'm 5'1", and I currently have the strap on its shortest setting. Um, it is slightly adjustable with, with those adjustments on the side as well as on this side. Um, I think this works perfectly for me crossbody. It hits me right at the hip, so I'm uh, happy with kind of the length of the bag. Um, you can see the top of the bag has two zippers, like I said, and there is a bit of leather between just kind of separating them. Uh, and then there's coordinating kind of red stitching holding everything together. The other side of the bag is basically identical, except you have your hang tag. The hang tag is very simple. It's nothing like, you know, the 1941 hang tags or anything. It's just a little leather hang tag, um, you know, on a chain. The chain right there does say coach. There, you can kind of see it says coach right there. Um, and then the only other thing I don't think I mentioned on the other side was that these D-rings that are holding the uh, shoulder strap also say coach on them. There, you can kind of see that there, although it's getting, there we go. I think it's focused there. So starting with what the bag fits, um, I'm gonna start with the back slip pocket. This is where I keep my phone. Uh, my phone is a Google Pixel 3a, so it's one on the smaller side for a smartphone. It's not like a plus size or anything, but I do think there's like enough room here that this back slip pocket would be comfortable for kind of a phone of any size. Um, I keep my SLGs in this bag on in the front pocket. Um, when I originally packed this bag, like right after I got it, I put my SLGs in the back here, and that was a little bit um, that was a little bit difficult to use because it was hard for me to access my SLGs with this part pressed against my body. So I moved my stuff to the front, which is you know the stuff that I would kind of need very easily when I'm out shopping. So you can see how my SLGs kind of fit in that front pocket. They fit perfectly fine and there's room to spare. I could definitely throw my hand sanitizer up here if I really wanted to, uh, for example. Um, so I have, you know, my wallet, I have my six key ring holder from Goyard, and then I have my car keys as well. And those all fit in there perfectly fine. 
um, again, with room to spare. So I'm just gonna close that up. And the zippers on this bag are really smooth. I really like them. Um, I think the quality of this bag does feel like it's very nice quality. So in the back is where I keep kind of all the other stuff, the stuff that I wanna carry around with me but that I don't need like easy access to when I'm like in a store about to pay. So first thing of course is my hand sanitizer. And then in this back slip pocket, which is the only pocket in the bag, I keep an extra mask just in case I forget to bring a mask when I'm out and about. And then I have um, just a coach wristlet with a bunch of kind of catch-all stuff and that, uh, and then I guess the last thing I have is just a little compact mirror. Um, in here, you know, I think I've shown this a lot, so I don't want to belabor the point, but I just have things like tissues, eyeglasses, cloth, uh, Advil, and some Vaseline. Now, I do think that this bag could probably fit more than what I'm carrying in it. Um, so I wanted to check and see kind of what else I could fit in the bag um, while we're here, just in case you're wondering, in case you tend to carry um, more stuff. So I can definitely fit more in terms of like little toiletries, like if you wanted to carry around a little travel deodorant, like if you're, you know, it's summer and you wanted to just make sure you don't start to smell, that'll fit. You know, I have uh, this kind of uh, moisturizing stick, which is really nice for dry hands in the winter. That'll fit fine. You know, I just have a ton of room in here, so it's not necessarily going to be that surprising what fits. Um, you know, bag of band-aids, you know, whatever you want. It'll all fit, and it's like, it's going to close perfectly fine. It's not taking up too much room. It's all great. Uh, the other thing that you might be wondering about is a water bottle. So this is just like a small little kid's water bottle that I got from Michael's. Um, and this one, I don't think this is going to fit very well. I'm going to empty that back pocket and just show you. So just trying to kind of take the water bottle and maybe put it in here. Um, you know, it'll fit and it'll close. So I can carry a water bottle if I really wanted to, but it does kind of make the bag bow out. Now I have my phone back there, so it's kind of taking up some extra space. So it does fit, like I said, but it's not going to be kind of very comfortable. And I also don't necessarily love the idea of putting a water bottle in sideways. Um, because, you know, if I don't close it all the way, if I accidentally am, you know, a little bit careless with that, it can leak in the bag, and, you know, that's that's not great. Like I said, this is my third most expensive bag, so I do feel like I want to take care of it. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. This is kind of what fits in the Coach Dress Crossbody. Like I said, I think it's a really good size. I don't need to downsize at all when I use it. It's not like I need to switch from my wallet to a card holder or anything like that. Um, I do think it would probably fit kind of a full-size wallet as well. So if that's something that you tend to carry around, I don't think that you would have a problem. So ultimately, I really like this bag. I'm glad I bought it, um, and I think it's going to be kind of a great bag for me to use on the weekends as well as for errands. My only con of this bag so far is that, like I said when I unboxed it, the leather does feel very soft, so I'm worried that it is going to be delicate and that I might scratch it and things like that. In the description of the item, um, they said it was a Napa leather, which when I read up about Napa leather tends to be um, more durable and like not scratch easily, so maybe I shouldn't be so worried, but I can't help but be paranoid when this bag is so beautiful as well as so soft. So yeah, um, I think... Great purchase all around. I would highly recommend this bag. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.